Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hi, Diana, how are you? Hi, teacher. How's everything? How are you? Mm, fine. Just fine? Okay. How was your day? Mm. Good. Was good? Okay, sounds nice. What did you do today? Tell me about it. Play with my son. Okay. How old is your son? Five. He's five. Oh, he's little. Okay. Does he study? Yes. He does. He goes to kindergarten. Kindergarten. Okay. Great. So you have to help him with the homework and the, all the studies. Right? Yes. Oh, okay. All right. Sounds nice. Diana, good evening. Good evening. How are you today? Um, pretty good. Great. I'm glad to hear that. And how about your day? How was it? Um, oh. <laughs> Sorry, Diana, I couldn't hear that. How was your day? Very good. Okay. No me escucha. Yes, now I can hear you. <laughs> so um, tell me about your day. What did you do? Oh, okay. What did you do today? ¿Qué hizo ahora? What did you do ah. today? Um, I was um, descansando. Resting. I was resting in my house. Okay. Um, I am not. Uh, I am not to go at work. Oh, okay. You're at not going working. to work. <laughs> All right. So um, you're on vacation. I always um, um descansar. Rest. I always rest to Saturday, no, jueves. On Thursdays? Uh, I, I always um, um, rest Thursday. on Thursday. Rest on Thursday. <laughs> oh, okay, that's nice. You have a free day on Thursday, which is really nice. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, great. Ana del Carmen, Thank good evening. You. How are you, Ana? I'm fine, teacher. Great. How was your day? Oof, too work. Oh, too much work? <laughs> yeah, as usual, right? <laughs> yeah, teacher's work is never done. We never um, finish. No, we have no. Lots to do. <laughs> yes, I know. But was it good? At the end, was it all right? Ah, uh, no, I don't understand. Oh, okay. Es, pero estuvo bien. Todo estuvo. Ah, okay. Bien. Sí. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yes. All right. Very Sounds good. nice. <laughs> Great. And today we finish the English course and we go to vacation, right? Mm hmm. Yep. So that's very good. <laughs> Let's see, Vasilia. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you? I'm fine, teacher. Great. How was your day? Good. All right. What did you do today? Uh, housework every day. <laughs> oh, okay. So you yes. just stay home and do all that work. <laughs> yes. My okay. Yeah. All right. That's good. Let's see, Marvel. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. 
How are you today? Fine, thank you. Great. How was your day? Um, how was your day? How was your day? Fine. That's fine. Okay. What did you do today, Marble? Very working. Work. Okay. All right. That's great. Let's see, Anderson. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you? I'm fine, very fine. Okay, sounds nice. And how was your day? A little tired. Oh, okay, what did you do today? Uh, I study all day because uh, I had a delivery job. Oh, okay. Uh, homework. Some... Sorry. Some homework. Okay. Yes. All right. That's good. And it was for today. It was due today. And now it's for tomorrow. Oh, did you finish? Yes, yes. You're done. All right. That's Thanks good. for asking. Great. Okay. So, um, yeah, I think we may start. Do we have any questions, any doubts about any of the exercises or the topics in the platform? Maybe not, okay. All right, so then we're going to start by checking yesterday's exercises. So remember that we were practicing the present continuous in the different forms, right? And we practice the affirmative, negative, and interrogative form. And let's see. In the first exercise, we had to write some ing verb forms. We got a list of verbs, and we have to make them ing. So let's try to write them all. And so here we go. Sing becomes singing. Then what's the ing form for swim? Swimming. Swimming. And what's the special thing about swimming? Uh, uh, w M. M. Yes, it takes double M. So we create it like this. We spell it swimming with double M. Then we got dance, which becomes dancing. 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 And what changes in the word dancing? The vowel E. Okay. We do not use E, but instead we add ing, right? Dancing. Okay. Then we have get. What's the ing form for get? It, getting. Getting. And what's the the special thing about getting? Double, double T. You double the last consonant and you get this word, right? Getting with double T. Then cut becomes? What's Cutting. the ending form? Cutting. Cutting. And again, it takes double T. Then we get a slip. Sleeping. Sleeping. Yep. Sleeping. Sleeping. What's the ing form for draw? Drawing. Um, drawing. 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 And do. Doing. 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 Becomes doing. Smoke. Smoking. Smoking. Close. Closing. 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 Practice. Practicing. 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 Skate. Skating. 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 Right. Riding. 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 Ask. Asking. 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 Climb. Climbing. 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 And enjoy? Enjoying. Enjoying. 
in here, it's important to keep in mind that we use both the Y and the I. So it doesn't matter that they sound alike, right? We just keep them both. We say enjoy and yoin with Y and ING. And it's the same case, just to mention, it's the same case for study. Remember that in the case of study, we go like study, studying. Like this, right? So it takes the Y and the ING. Okay, let's practice pronunciation. Everybody repeat, please. Sing, singing. Sing, singing. Sing, singing. Swim, swimming. Swim, swim, swimming. Dance, dancing. Dance, dancing. Get, getting. Get, getting. Getting. Cut, cutting. 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 Sleep, sleeping. Sleep, sleeping. Sleeping. Draw, drawing. Do, doing. Do, doing. Smoking. Smoking. Close, closing. Close, closing. Practice, practicing. Practicing. Skate, skating. Skate, skating. Ride, riding. Ride, riding. Ask, asking. Ask, asking. asking. Climb, climbing. Climb, climbing. 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 Enjoy, enjoying. Enjoy, enjoying. Study, studying. Study, studying. Okay, very well. That's what we have for the ING form of the verbs. Then in the next exercise, we had to make some sentences in the present continuous. What is the first sentence? What's sentence one? I washing the, I washing the, dishes. I'm washing the dishes. I'm washing the dishes. Okay. Just remember about the pronunciation. I'm, I'm washing I, the dishes. I, I'm washing the dishes. Very well. We Number are doing two. the homework. We are doing the homework. We are doing the homework. We are doing the homework. Okay, repeat please. Doing. 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 Good. Doing. Number three. Doing. What's the sentence? He's talking, He's talking on the phone. On the phone. He is talking on the phone. He's talking on the phone. Or you, you are you writing. Are you are writing a poem. Writing a poem. You are writing, writing, writing a poem. A poem. Great. Poem. Number five. He playing He's playing, playing basketball. basketball. He's playing basketball. Basketball. He's playing basketball. He plays basketball. Next one. They, they are they are doing exercise. exercise. They are doing they are exercise. doing exercise. exercise. Seven. It, it is eating its food. Eating its food. It is eating its food. Everybody eating. repeat, please. Eating. 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 Okay. What's the next sentence? They are, they are buying, buying some fruits and fruits and vegetables. vegetables. They are buying some fruits and buying. vegetables. Some fruits and vegetables. They are buying. Very well. Number nine. It is raining. It is it's raining. It's raining. Raining. And the last one. We are traveling to New York. We are traveling to New York. 
Okay, hey, there we go. We got a, I'm washing the dishes. We are doing the homework. She is talking on the phone. You are writing a poem. He's playing basketball. They are doing exercise. It is eating its food. They are buying some fruits and vegetables. It is raining and we are traveling to New York. New York. Okay, but let's continue with exercise three where we had to unscramble some sentences. Unscramble. So tell me what sentence number one, please. I am working. I am not working today. I am not working today. I am not working today. Number two. The girl is not wearing sunglasses. Uh -huh, the, the girl, girl is not, is not, not wearing, wearing some, some sunglasses. sunglasses. Okay, everybody repeat. Girl. 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 Sunglasses. 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 The girl is not wearing sunglasses. The girl is not wearing sunglasses. Sunglasses. Good. And what's the next sentence? They are not. They are not eating soup. They are not eating soup. 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 Yes. Everybody, repeat, please. Soup. 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 Okay. And also, just to mention, be careful with that word because we got this one, which is soup. And then we also have soap, which is to wash your soap. hands, for instance. So oh. the food is soup, soup. soup. And soup. then we have this soap. one, which is soap that is to wash your hands. Have on. Okay. Soup. So be careful with pronunciation. Repeat, please. Soup. 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 OK. All right, let's continue soap. with number four. Susan, Susan is not going home. Susan is not going home. Number five. It is not raining now. 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 Number six. The dog is not the dog of the cat. The dog is not barking. The dog is not barking at the cat. The, cat. the dog is not barking at the cat. Number seven. We are, we are not, not talking, talking for us. Taking, we are not taking photos. Taking, taking, taking photos. Taking photos. Great. Number eight. Joy is not, not playing the piano. Is not playing the piano. Play Joy the is piano. not playing the piano. Joy is not playing the piano. The piano. piano. The piano. Number nine. The children are not swimming on the pool. Children are not swimming on the pool. The children are not swimming. The children are not swimming in the pool. The pool. Okay, and the last one is the cats are not playing the wall. The wall. Cats are not playing with the wool. There we go. We got, I am not working today. The girl is not wearing sunglasses. They are not eating soup. Susan is not going home. It is not raining now. The dog is not barking at the cat. We are not taking photos. Joe is not playing the piano. And the children are not swimming in the pool. And the cats are not playing with the wool. Let's continue with the next exercise. Here we had to make some sentences in the three forms, affirmative, negative, and interrogative. So let's try. We got the dolphin play in the sea. What's the sentence in the affirmative form? 
You say the dolphin. Playing. Playing in the sea. Playing. Playing in the sea. Okay, now make it negative, please. The dolphin, the dolphin is, is not playing, playing in the sea. The dolphin is not, not playing, playing in the sea. And the question? Is the dolphin playing in the sea? Playing in the sea? Okay, there we go. So let me ask some different people for the answers. Let's see. Ana del Carmen, number two, please. Number two. Tom cooking spaghetti. Okay, uh, Tom is cooking spaghetti. Uh, negative Tom are not cooking spaghetti. Um, but it's you not. have to use is. Ah, Tom, Tom is, is not. Is not cooking spaghetti good? And the question is Tom cooking spaghetti? Very well. Is Tom cooking spaghetti? Let's see. Spaghetti. Emma Aguilar, number three. They are listening to the radio. Negative. They are not listening to the radio. They are not listening to the radio. Are they listening to the radio? Are they listening to the radio? Okay, very good, Emma. Let's see the next one, Carlos Antonio. Cheese. Number number four. Cheese. She is wearing the blue jeans. She's wearing blue jeans. She is wearing blue jeans. She's wearing, sorry. She's wearing blue okay. jeans. Uh, yeah. She's not wearing blue jeans. And okay. the question is, is she wearing blue jeans? Is she wearing blue jeans? Okay, very well. Bastilian, number five. Is she? There we go. The kids are buying ice cream. The Negative. kids are not buying ice cream. Mm -hmm. Are the kids buying ice cream? Very well, Basilia. Thanks. Diana Lisette, number six. I drive my father my father's car. I'm driving my father's car. Negative. I drive not my father's car. Uh, can you repeat that one, please? I drive um, my father's car. I drive nor not. I'm not driving my father's car. Uh -huh. And the I, question is: Is I drive my father's mm -hmm. car? Okay, just remember that with I, we use am. So it would be, am I driving my father's car? So we got, a, um, I am driving my father's car. I am not driving my father's car. And am I driving my father's car? Thank you, Diana. Next one, Ailey, about the Mesa. The mason is building a house. Mm -hmm. The mason is not building a house. Is the mason building a house? Very well. Just uh, the pronunciation for this one. Building. Building. Everybody repeat. Building. 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 Mm -hmm. Good. Thanks, Ailey. Um, let me see. Anderson, can you make number eight? Jack is fishing in the river. Jack is not fishing in the river. Is Jack fishing in the river? Okay, perfect. Thanks. Next one, Marvel. Give it a try. My mom cleaned the window. My mom yeah. is cleaning the window. <laughs> Mm. Negative. Negative. 
my mom is not clean the window. Okay. Is my mom clean the window? Is my mom cleaning the window? Very well. Carlos Alfredo, number 10. That one is easy. The song is chaining. Okay. Negative. The song is in chaining. Yep. And the question? Is the song chaining? Is the sun shine, shining? Okay, shining. very well. Okay, thank you. Thanks to you. All right, very good. And that is what we got for the present continuous. And now let me just explain a little bit about the WH questions. So WH questions are made in a similar way to the yes no questions, right? Except that we add the WH word or the WH question word before the verb be. And we get this structure. We got WH word, then the verb be, am, um, mm -hmm. is, or are, then the subject, then the verb in ing, and then a complement. So we got questions like, what are you doing? As you see, we use the WH question word, what, the verb be, are, the subject, you, and a verb in ing, doing. Then if we needed a complement, we can add it. And another one would be, where are you going? Then we have, who are you inviting to the party? And when are you arriving? When are you arriving? Those are some examples on how to make WH questions with the simple, I mean, the present continuous. So let's repeat them. What are you doing? What are you, are you doing? doing? What are you going? Where are you Where going? Are you going? going? Who are you inviting um, to the party? Who are you inviting to the party? When are you arriving? When, when are, are you arriving? arriving? Okay, very well. So can we make some other examples? Think about some other WH questions using the present continuous. Any others? What are you eating? Eating? What are you eating? Mm -hmm. Any other? Where are you living? Where are you living? Okay. What else? Who are you calling to you? Who are you what? Who are you calling, calling to you? Calling, okay, who are you calling? To you. Oh, okay, in that case, we would say, who's calling you? Como, ah, quien te está calling. llamando sería, who's calling you? Who's calling Y a quien estás llamando, who are you calling? Who are you calling? Mm -hmm. So we can make both. Any other examples? When are you... Uh, Running. When are you running? Okay, very well. All right. Where are you from? Where are you from? That will be in the simple present. Okay. Uh, all right. So let's continue with the next topic. And um, let me start by asking you a question. Okay, just give me a second. Oops, here we go. Okay, so let me start by asking you a question. How many brothers and sisters do you have? Let's see. Um, Carlos Antonio, how many brothers and sisters do you have? I have one brother and one sister. Okay, one brother and one sister, nice. Diana Yamilet, how many brothers and sisters do you have? I have one brother. I have two sisters. Okay, nice. Diana, can you ask the same question to one of your classmates, please? I 
Ana, Vero, Ana Veronica, how many brothers and sisters do you have? I have two sisters. You got two sisters, okay. Ana Veronica, now you ask another person, please. ¿Cuál pregunta? Disculpe. Um, the same question we got here. How many brothers and sisters do you have? Ah. Carlos Antonio, how many um, brothers and sisters? Sorry, Ana, you can have? you choose another person, please? Because Carlos has already participated. Okay. So maybe we can ask Charlie. Okay, Charlie, how many brothers and ya va sisters do you have? I have one brother. Only one brother. Okay, Charlie, continue asking, please. Okay, Emma Aguilar, how many brothers and sisters do you have? I have two brothers and one sister. Very well, Emma, continue asking. Um, Basilia, how many brothers and sisters do you have? I have three brothers and one sister. Okay, you got a big family. Basilia, now, nice. Now continue asking one of your classmates, please. Boris Rodriguez, how many brothers and sisters do you have? I have one brother and two sisters. Okay, Boris, now you can ask Dina. Dina, Dina. Contreras. Okay, Dina Contreras, how many brothers and sisters do you have? I have brother, brother zero and sister and two sisters. Okay, you got only two sisters. Nice. And Dina, you ask Carlos Alfredo. Carlos Alfredo, how many brother and um, sister do you have? I have three brothers and one sister. Okay, Carlos, now you ask Anderson. Anderson, how many brothers and sisters do you have? I have the one sister. The one sister, okay. Um, now you ask Ailey, please. Really, how many brothers and sisters do you have? Uh, I am only child. You're an only child, okay. Ailey ask Diana Lisette. Diana, how many brothers and sisters do you have? I have one sister and one brother. Okay, Diana ask Ana del Carmen. Ana del Carmen, del Carmen, how many brothers and sisters do you have? I have uh, one brother and one sister. Okay, very well. All right, so now let's go to the platform and let's listen to a conversation. They are going to talk about families. Uh, okay, so let's listen, everybody, pay attention. And then we're going to take a chance to practice the conversation. Hello, do you come from a big family? Listen to Millie and Marcus talk about their family. I come from a big family. How many brothers and sisters do you have, Millie? Actually, I'm an only child. Really? Yeah. Most families in China have only one child nowadays. I did know that. What about you, Marcos? I come from a big family. I have three brothers and two sisters. Wow. Is that typical in Peru? Not really. A lot of families are smaller these days. But big families are great because you get lots of birthday presents. All 
Okay, there we go. That is the conversation. Do I have any volunteers to read it? Me, Me teacher. Carlos Antonio. Me. Uh, Marcos. Okay, go ahead, okay. Carlos and and wait. How many? Who's reading? Okay. Carlos and who's reading with Carlos? Me, Basilia. Basilia. Okay, thanks. Okay, Basilia. Mm -hmm. How many brothers and sisters do you have? Mainly? Actually, I am only child. Really? Yeah. Most families in China have only one child, no days. No worries. I didn't know that. What about you, Marco? I come from a big family. I have a three brothers and two sisters. Wow. Is that typical in Peru? Not really. A lot of families are smaller these days, but big families are great because you get lots of birthday presents. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Very good. Thanks, Carlos and Basilia. And let me ask for a second pair to read. Me, teacher. Me, teacher. And who else? Me. Ana Veronica. Ana Veronica, okay. So Boris, you start. Okay. How many brothers and sisters do you have, Miley? Actually, I'm an only child. Really? Yeah, most families in China have only one child nowadays. I didn't know that. What about you, Marcos? I come from a big family. I have three brothers and two sisters. Wow, is that typical in Peru? Not really. A lot of families are smaller this day, but big families are great because you get lots of birthday presents. Very well. Now everybody repeat, please. Nowadays. 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 Okay, and um, now say typical. 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 Smaller. 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 Birthday. 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 Okay, very good. All right, now let's talk a little bit about the quantifiers. Hey, so tell me. Hey. Uh, what the meaning no, uh, uh, nowadays. nowadays nowadays is similar to these days like uh, esto, en estos días en estos tiempos uh, en la actualidad okay. yep it refers to that okay, okay, no problem all right so let's continue by talking about the quantifiers let me tell you about today's lesson objective which is in this lesson participants will be will be exposed to quantifiers in their meanings. So let's watch the video about the quantifiers and then we are going to explain it and get some practice. This time we'll talk about quantifiers. When we don't know the exact percentage of something, we use words like some, most, a few. Stay and learn more quantifiers and how to use them. Quantifiers. All families have only one child. Nearly all families have only one child. Most families have only one child. Many families are smaller these days. A lot of families are smaller these days. Some families are smaller these days. Not many couples have more than one child. A few couples have more than one child. Few couples have more than one child. No one gets married before the age of 18. 
Notice how these quantifiers have an estimated percentage. If you want to make reference to 100%, you may say all. And then you work down the scale depending on the percentage you want to refer to. Follow me in this example. Nearly all women work nowadays. Nearly all, quantifier. Women, plural noun. So in other words, all quantifiers come before plural nouns, except no one. No one gets married before the age of 18. No one, quantifier, gets the verb. As a tip, ask your teacher to remind you about count nouns. Okay, so that is what we have about the quantifiers. So we got they are uh, used to indicate an estimated percentage. Um, in case we are not sure about um, how much or to how to what extent something is uh, true or real, right? So we may use all, which which means todos. Nearly all, casi todos, most, la mayoría, many, muchos, a lot of, muchos, so many and a lot of would be synonyms. Then we have some, algunos, not many, no muchos, a few and few, pocos, and no one, ninguno, right? So that is what we have. And uh, as it is explained in the video, we use the quantifiers together with a noun, for example, here, all families, we can say nearly all kids, most students, many, um, let's say many stores, a lot, of, um, a lot of dogs, for instance. So you always use the quantifier and then a noun. And then you just add the information you're talking about. For example, we could say, Nearly all Europeans learn a second language. Right, let me write it over here. We would say something like nearly all Europeans learn a second, second language. Or let's make another one using most. Most students are very responsible. Hello. Um, let's see. Um, well, let's say a few people are getting married these days. So that is how you make sentences using the quantifiers. Here we have the quantifier, nearly, in this case we use most. In the other one we use a few. Then the nouns, we got Europeans, students, and people. And then we just add the information we're talking about, except with the the quantifier no one, that one acts differently. So here we do not need a noun after it, we just need a verb. We say no one gets married before the age of 18. And no one can live now. No one can live now, we say. Or no one wants to go to the park. So that is how we use it. We use no one, then the verb can leave once. So that one is a little different. Then uh, do we have any questions about this? Questions? Is everything clear? Okay, so it seems everything's clear. Then let's try to do some practice. So let me send you to the breakout room so you try to make some example sentences using quantifiers. Just make one sentence for each of the quantifiers, okay?
Mm, try to focus on some kind of situation. For example, you could talk about Salvadoran people, for instance. Like saying, all Salvadoran people love pupusas. And so on. So think about some different examples using uh, the quantifiers and uh, talking about the Salvadoran people, just the Salvador situation could be. Are we clear about that? Yes or no? Yes. Okay, fine. So let me send you to the breakout rooms so we get some practice and then we come back and we share a little. There we go. Okay. Yeah, I just received. Mm -hmm. Okay. 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 All, all, oh. all, all people want trip to the United States. Want to go to the United States? <laughs> nice. I want to go to the United States. Yeah. That's a good example. Nearly all. Mm. ¿Algo otra idea? Well, all, <coughs> all people like pupusas. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, in a silver. <laughs> <laughs> nearly old. Sería nearly old. Nearly old. Nearly old. Nearly, nearly old people. Nearly old people uh, visiting or visit the beach. Yep, that's good. Yes. Yes. Uh, well. Uh, some people, most people, the most the most people like uh, the football player. Okay. Okay. Eh, sería many many students many students eh, go to the class on April. Many students are going are going to class going. on April 
or are starting classes on April? Many, many students, right? Yes. Are, are, start, are start, uh, the classes on April? Right? Very well. Okay. A lot of es como el 50%. Yeah, kind of. A lot of, a lot of como muchos. Oh. For example, I, I could say I like to eat pupusas a lot. Yes. A lo yes, that's a another lot. way of using the quantifiers. Yep, you can use it. Okay. I and some it will maybe uh I would like to to drink some coffee. Mm -hmm. Yep. Mm -hmm. That's good. Okay. Uh not many not too many. Uh it could be um Teacher, y siempre se tienen que siempre se tienen que utilizar primero o se pueden no. este digamos no. combinar. Yeah, you can no. use it in different places in the sentence. It doesn't really have to be at the beginning. You can use it in different in different positions. Okay. For example, me it could be uh, not many people are gonna are gonna go to the beach in this this Easter. Okay, yeah, that's good. Undo pandemic. Undo the pandemic, okay. Undo the pandemic, okay. Mm -hmm. uh, in I a like, few. Uh... Mm -hmm. Okay, they are nearly all. Uh... Teacher. Hi. I I use it. They are. Uh, ne, uh, excuse me. They are nearly all uh, soccer. What do you want to say? Uh, they are nearly all. They are nearly soccer. all. Um, okay, so what's the idea behind that? ¿Cuál sería la idea que queremos expresar? Uh, ellos es casi la mayoría yeah. les gusta el uh -huh. fútbol. Ah, Ahí. okay. So in that case, we would say nearly all, uh, nearly all people, for instance, nearly all people like soccer. Uh, yeah. oh. Nearly all people like nearly soccer. All. Okay. Okay. Um, and the most, most, most woman, um, pretty woman. <laughs> most women are pretty. <laughs> Okay, that's okay. More. Yeah. <laughs> that's real. <laughs> yes. Uh, pretty. <laughs> um, many. Many. Um, many. Many. It. Um, pupusas. Many people eat pupusas. Uh, many. many Salvadorans eat pupusas. Mm -hmm. uh, but in this case, all people eat pupusas. Yes, right. <laughs> Salvadorans. Salvadorians. Mm -hmm. Salvadorian, yes. Um, I think many, many. Mm -hmm. Many monks 
um, help the woman. Many men help the women. Yep. Many, men. Mm -hmm. Many men help the women. Yes. Okay. Okay. Um, um, a, lot, a lot of oops, a lot a lot of la mayoría a lot of bueno, teacher, le agradezco toda su enseñanza y aprovecho ya que son los últimos minutos. Dios me la bendiga. Gracias por todo. Ay, un gusto, Dina. Thanks. Thanks for being a good student. It was a pleasure to be here with you. Thank you, teacher. Hello. Hello. A lot of people. A lot of people take a bus. Okay, a lot of people take the bus. Good. A lot of a bus. Hi there, did you make the examples? Hello? Hello, teacher. <laughs> Hi, Anna. So, how are you doing with the examples? Come on. I'm so so. <laughs> so so. Do you need any help? Do you have any questions? Um. Is is correct? Uh, nearly all are in the party. Nearly all. People, we can say there, nearly all uh, people are in the party. Mm -hmm. People. Mm -hmm. Yes, are you always have to, mm -hmm. to mention who you're talking about. Mm -hmm. um, most people use the cell phone. Most people use cell phones, great. Mm. Mm -hmm. Y los demás perdieron. So they didn't answer. No le respondieron. <laughs> Many girls are studying studying the universe, university. Yes. Many girls yes. are studying uh, at the university. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of um, People watch the movie. A lot of people watch movies. Mm -hmm. mm. Mm. Many is no mm, not many listen listening music. No, mm, not many people listen to music. Yeah, uh, yep. people. Mm -hmm. Mm. A few old old person likes reggaeton. A few people no. like reggaeton. Mm, pero quiero people. decir que personas adultas. Oh, a, a ah. few old people, old people. or ah. adults, you can also say, like reggaeton. Mm. <laughs> huh? uh. A few are happy in the conference. Okay, once again, a few people. Uh, people. Uh, a few people, yes. People. Siempre tiene que mencionar eh, de quién está hablando. Ah, a few bye. students, many people, many Salvadorans, 
um, a lot of families, for instance. Ah, okay. Uh, no one a student make the homework. Oh, okay. No one <laughs> does the homework. <laughs> okay. All right. Yes, uh, we say do the homework. Okay. Con ah, homework, siempre okay. usamos do. Do. Yes. Mm. Mm. All right. Uh, do you have any other questions? No, teacher. No more. Okay, fine. No. We're coming back to the main room. No. See you there. Okay, okay teacher. Okay, it seems everybody's back. So do we have any questions about the quantifiers and how to use them? Questions? No, so far so good. Okay, so that will be all for this course. So thanks everybody for your participation and congratulations to all the ones who have finished the work in the platform. And if you have not finished, you still get some time to work on it. So please, if you have not finished, just keep working. And remember, we got until today's, uh, I mean, today's midnight. So please just keep on working in case you have not finished. But I think that most of you did. So we're good. So thanks, everyone. It was a pleasure to be here with you as a facilitator. And I hope you continue learning English, keep practicing your great students. So take Thank care, everybody. Thank you, teacher. Bye, teacher. Thank, Thank you very much, teacher. Have a good night. Bye, teacher. Thank you, teacher. Bye, teacher. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, teacher. Bye, good night. Bye, teacher. Good night.